Let's break down the three types of ABG compensation so that it actually makes sense. First, I want you to think about the three ABG values that you're gonna need to know, pH, CO2, and HCO3. Think of CO2 and HCO3 as the two children, the lungs and the kidneys, respectively. So whenever the pH is off, it's either because of the lungs or because of the kidneys. It's one of the two. Whenever one messes up, the other tries to jump in and help. So if the lungs are messing up, the kidneys are gonna jump in and try to help. And if the kidneys are messing up, then the lungs are gonna jump and try to help. They're compensating, right, to bring the pH back to normal because that's the ultimate goal. There are three types of ABG compensation, uncompensated, partially compensated, and fully compensated. When you're trying to determine the type of compensation, pay attention to the values, the CO2 and the HCO3. All you need to know, is it normal or abnormal? That's it. For uncompensated, the pH is abnormal and only one of the values, CO2 or HCO3, is abnormal. And that just means that either the lungs or the kidneys messed up the pH and the other one isn't helping yet. For partial compensation, the pH is still abnormal, but the other value is now helping. So both CO2 and HCO3 are abnormal. For partial compensation, everything is abnormal. pH, CO2, and HCO3. Then for full compensation, that pH is back to normal. However, the CO2 and HCO3, those are still abnormal. And that just means that the lungs and the kidneys did their job. They did their big one. They need a minute to recoup. The pH is back to normal and that is the ultimate goal. If you want more practice with ABG compensation, check out the link in my bio and download the free eight page ABG interpretation guide.